Greetings and welcome to another episode of Movie Fridays. You know, ever since this pandemic started and all the movie theaters have been shut down since March of 2020 with them slowly opening up bit by bit as soon as everyone's getting the vaccine and everything, there is one thing that Generously, Warner Brothers, specifically Warner Media, decided to do for this year's lineup of films. Those probably in the dark, as a generous thing, Warner Brothers is sending their movies to be on HBO Max for 30 days right next to when they air in theaters. So if you see any ads or anything where it says... In theaters now, and also on HBO Max, it means that they're going to have the film up there for 30 days, and then it's off of there until it, I don't know, goes over the HBO, and then it comes back to HBO Max. It goes full circle. Movie theaters here, at least the ones I'm close to, are still shut down, so if I want to see a one of other movie, this is the closest I'm going to get. So, yeah, Godzilla vs. Kong, I decided to take a look at this one, and I must say, out of the recent films that have come out of the, what I could say is Warner Brothers Godzilla Kong universe, because there needs to be some sort of excuse for a cinematic universe of some kind, because I've seen Godzilla 2014, which was okay. I hadn't seen King of the Monsters. I saw Kong Skull Island in the messed up aspect ratio that kept going on with the film. Not like the HBO, like the whole like weird thing with IMAX films and whatnot where it'll just go from the Panavision format to suddenly this. Not like that. It was certainly fine. Not really one I'm going to remember, but... Godzilla vs. Kong? Oh, 100%. I'm probably more than likely going to remember this. The story is King Kong is finding his way home with the help of a few other fellow scientists that have been supervising him. He befriends a young female who speaks sign language to him. But there is, unfortunately, a roadblock that our crew has to face. Godzilla. And because of Godzilla's chaos and the crew trying to find Kong's original home, well, it's going to be a big old war between all of them. If you didn't read the title of the film, then obviously this is going to be an all-out war between both of these characters. In my opinion, this film has improved over all the previous Warner Brothers, Godzilla, and King Kong movies that have come out. And especially, I've seen criticisms from some people where they don't like seeing the fights in the dark while it's raining. And that I can understand because you want to see the full action. Well, they answer the fans, and we get to see the fight during the day. Yes! Now, the fight between the two, they're really good. The actors that portray the human characters do a great job in their roles. There is a podcaster that is kind of a conspiracy nutcase. You have the young female that obviously can communicate with Kong. I don't know why I keep calling him King Kong for some weird reason. It could be just because I'm used to the old RKO film from the 1930s. I'm too used to that. But anyways, how would I quickly summarize Godzilla vs. Kong? I'd say awesome-tacular. It's really fantastic. It's well-paced, characters are balanced, I uh, love the visual effects and everything. It's astonishing, and 
have the theaters opened back up? Or at least the pandemic didn't make things so hard on movie studios? I would have loved to have seen this movie on the big screen. I would have loved to see the thing with the 5.1 surround sound and the 4K-like picture quality. That, that would be awesome to have seen in theaters. But, at least the theaters are, that's located near me are still shut down, so no chance of seeing that. But, outside of that minor grievance, even while seeing it at home, I still liked it. It was really, really cool. I highly recommend you guys check it out once it lands on digital platforms, like digital copies, Voodoo, Movies Anywhere, Walmart, Amazon, just whatever. Support it, watch it. Share with friends. But if you have seen Godzilla vs. Kong or you have an opinion on the Warner Brothers, Godzilla, and King Kong universe they've been making recently, tell me what your thoughts are down in the comments, and I'll see you next time. Bye!